Okay, too bad. Fucking 15k gold's not gonna give me anything. <laughs> but I'll actually look at these freaking prices. But these are weapons, so fuck that shit. Oh. God, even brooches are expensive.
Here and you're here, but Bush has appeared. Shoot. started Just takes him right back up there. What's worse than opening up a freaking powdered glitter bomb mail? <laughs> yes. This is real now. Powdered sperm bomb. Oh, oh, oh. Who the heck is gonna fucking try after sperm? Make into powder. Besides me. Powdered sperm bomb.
Yeah, this sounds like square. Sounds like King of Hearts. Uh, that's because it is. Much. <laughs> I have no more campaigns to run. <laughs> Fucking Obama freaking owned the freaking robot opens. <laughs> Did you just say the union address? No. Fucking walls. The Republicans are bursting to applause whenever he's like, I have no more campaigns to run. <laughs> sort of like a... an own fucking thing. And he's like, because I won both of them before, so I <laughs> give him a chance. And fucking all of them <laughs> just stood up and fucking clapped <laughs> and applauded him. And he's just, in a, he's just sitting there smiling. All the Republicans just fucking stopped. <laughs> they, they just fucking sat there because <laughs> they just got fucking owned yeah. on TV <laughs> by the president. <laughs> oh. I wonder if fucking who are the fucking president or the campaigns? The people running this next time? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I heard apparently Romney's considering it again. <laughs> and that kind of made me chuckle. <laughs> it's a fucking dude from the X-Files. One of the freaking the side side fucking president people. <laughs> and he needs to freaking do it. I can vote for him. Uh, fucking Roseanne ran the first time or last time <laughs> that was interesting <laughs> Dude, I don't even know what the fuck this is from Banjo Tui it's like every time I hear like weird but catchy music where the fuck is this from oh I don't even need to ask Country 3. You achieved. something rare apparently uh, oh yes I don't know 
Maybe I just found a lot of the, the rare ore and now I see achievement. <laughs> Looted 50 rare items. I got that off of a fucking a mining node. Doesn't make much. Pretty crazy. <laughs> what do I always always like? Thanks, Obama. Fucking <laughs> this fucking brewery was fucking high for like everything. What was it? Because high uh, nowadays doesn't really mean much. <laughs> well, <laughs> this is used at forty-two percent. That's the average down. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Nixon, 25%. Fucking George Lee, there's 27%. Both two of, like, the worst presidents in terms of what they actually did. <laughs> and John, yeah, Johnson, 41%. Reagan, 51%. Johnson's one who, uh, if I remember correctly, was, like, considered for impeachment. Mm hmm. Truman. Yeah, those are the types of presidents you have to look at, or Truman and FDR and shit. Truman was at forty-two percent as well. Uh, or like Roosevelt. Roosevelt would be a good one to look at. Roosevelt was at fifty-three percent. Uh, Teddy or Franklin. Teddy. Ah, uh, that's not bad. Eisenhower's at 54%. To get over 50 would be an achievement alone because that means over half your country likes you. Mm. That, that's hard to do. <laughs> Person in first place, fucking Clinton. 63%. Clinton was our last president that actually left us in a state of functioning. He's the only president that actually fucking pulled us out of debt. Even though it was only for like fucking a month. Well, he had the like pleasure of serving in between two presidents who started like shitty resource drains. <laughs> the Afghanistan shit that George Bush did, and then the Iraqi shit that George W. Bush shit. Mm. Uh. To be able to do that in between two essentially, essentially what were wars, is pretty impressive. Mm. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, that's not what he'll be remembered for. <laughs> he was remembered as one of the few presidents who was impeached. Or, resigned because he was going to be impeached. I don't know if it was like actual impeachment. Hey Clinton? Yeah. Oh no it wasn't. He resigned. Yeah. He resigned on his fucking eight years so fucking technically it wasn't resigned. He finished his presidency campaign. Because I know Nixon did the same thing where they were about to impeach him and he just sort of stepped down. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah Andrew Johnson was the only one who's actually been impeached. Poor guy. I think. Let me look at this to be sure. That's why I knew his name was familiar. <laughs> <laughs> you know, George W. Bush and George Bush Ryan are both close to him and they weren't even impeached. 
<laughs> That's how bad they are. <laughs> it's like, oh look, I heard fucking Afghan, fucking Iraq have oil. Let's fucking start a war with them. Dumbest reason in the world. to them. it going? Just a random group of enemies on the fucking road. Two people are staring at me. <laughs> and the actual people because they were named enemies. Now they have to wait for the respawn. <laughs> You achieved light the way. Oh look, I'm done with everything in this area except the elite quests. Oh, sure. Only left this here. Bring us level 45. And it's about a million times better than both of mine. <laughs> this one's better than my second earring. I don't know why I'm not wearing this. Ah. Fucking blue that I was probably wearing during beta. I thought this was Batman and it's Castlevania. This is how much I know about music. Oh fuck, I'm, di I'm dying. I probably shouldn't look at that while I'm dying. 
Hydrophobic metal. It's pretty cool. So now it's cool as the unbreakable spray. <laughs> Indestructible spray. Best stuff in the world. <laughs> I wish I would have I could have some of that spray. But it's like fucking millions and millions of dollars per can. <laughs> the hottest new craze, beef milk. It's like almond milk. <laughs> it's been, it's been squeezed through tiny little holes in living cows. That's fucking called regular milk. Wow. <laughs> Modify. Oh god. Oh god, that would be fucking hilarious. Fucking, um... These blood donors or whatever, or like... They hooked up the little needle and shit to like their controller, kind of. So when the controller shakes, it draws blood. Ah, uh, you, you hadn't known about that yet? Yeah, uh. well... There's that, but then it was like... They also did that to... They programmed the game, so it's like... Uh, wait, well, these people say you programmed it so that the, the controller will only shake during a death. Yeah. And if I can make the people uh, play some of the hardest games. It was supposed ever. to be for, like, uh, blood drives and shit. <laughs> I do that. Uh, shit got, like, taken off Kickstarter. I would do that. It's interesting in theory, but um, mm. yeah, I would put it. Mm. Don't make cry. There's so many people against that. 
because people suck at aiming. They're against the idea of like making you do that, dude. For blood do like the idea of that for blood donations, since if you're gonna donate blood, you'd probably just do it anyway. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't. I don't know the reason to be like super against it, but I understand why like. Uh, Kickstarter might not want to be affiliated with something like that get, can get a bad rap easily. <laughs> uh -uh. Well, they should just put it in as a choice. But I'm selling it. Oh, this fucking people again? Oh, God. I know it's fucking cute, but shit. <laughs> Tell you, it's fucking just like a real life. Fucking okay, if uh, you could put like things about on TV, you could put things about fucking uh. Oh, children are dying around the world. Oh my God, I freaking be like, eh. But fuck it, as soon as you see, like, <laughs> dogs and shit, or fucking cats and shit, it's just like, oh my god. <laughs> Why are people doing this? So I have now figured out that cats and dogs are both people in my life. It'll always be that way now.
Why does that even matter? Oh my god, freaking... Some people are so stupid. God, what a dumb bitch. Fuck. I stop watching this. Fuck. Fuck. Alright, I'm gonna go. I'll talk to you guys later. Okie dokie.
that was a disaster. And I'm never doing that again. Uh, no more fucking Skype calls when, when, when people just aren't going to do anything, because it just gets awkward. Yeah, man, I had to switch to this because there was like, what else could I could I do, where like, not being me and just saying stupid shit would uh, because like when when the call started, I was still playing the Sims game and I was trying to do commentary, but I just found myself like muting and unmuting the the call because. You know, you know how, uh, I don't know if you've ever been in a call and, uh, Sharon has been in, like, two or three calls? Or, uh, ever been in the call when you've been in a couple calls? Uh, like, Bush and Dre, and, and Mark especially, like, they can't handle, like, people just talking to people that aren't them, they get confused. Uh, so I set up a mute for myself and then like uh, I was doing it and not doing it but it was just like well this seems like a waste of time and then I just started just being quiet instead of muting myself it, it I never want to have to re regress to that I just want to like talk shit and be me, man. So much easier when you can just fucking like, make jokes about the game and just run around doing shit. But yeah, I mean. Like, uh, I'd probably be considered a pretty dry, like, commentator when I'm, when I'm casting. Because it's like commentary, and then I, like, do really shitty jokes and, like, laughing at me being bad. And most of it's just, like, me talking shit about me. <laughs> like, that's, that's my comedy while I'm streaming. And... I like, and apparently a couple other people do too, because like, uh, this one guy, uh, who if you ever watch and see him, his, his name's, uh, Redshock6001, uh, like, show up all the time. Uh, and I got a couple people who will watch me anytime I play anything Final Fantasy, because, uh, that's what they like, and they like watching me play them. So, it's like... I guess they enjoy my, my style of comedy with the games they like, but yeah. Kingdom Hearts is funny though. Uh, yeah, like, I think it's really good when, when streamers commentate on what they're doing and what they plan on doing, because not only does it help get across the game, especially if you don't know the game that you're watching, uh, or if you do know the game you're watching, you can understand why they're doing it, uh, and what, uh, especially if it's not a way you would have went around about doing it. Uh, also, like for older games, I like doing like my own voice acting, even though it all kind of sounds monotone sometimes. Uh, I've gotten like compliments on it too, which I thought was kind of funny, and interesting at the same time because a lot of people don't comment like voice act the like text and stuff which saddens me that that isn't more common I guess 
because I like that. Like with uh, Kingdom Hearts, I was like voice acting all the text that would come up. So like Donald, the Goofy, uh, Ariel, Sebastian, the Jamaican accent. Lots of fun. So much fun when I get to like voice act the characters because I get to just really have fun with it. And my camera's not up because I was typing on Skype and I was using my, my scene selection button. Awesome. But yeah. Yeah, like... I wouldn't even be playing Terra right now if I hadn't have accepted that Skype call. I would still, like, be making fun of Sims characters and stuff and, like, laughing at myself for... Sucking at finding certain characters or, like, dying because I starved. Uh, which is probably going to happen when I go back to that game. Uh -oh. I was really looking forward to casting cards against humanity because it has so much potential to be like funny and enjoyable. Uh, I don't own it though. Uh, like I have to wait until it goes out of early access to get it for free. Uh, but I, I don't have the money to buy it, so I, I would have to wait for that. Uh, I would totally play Don't Starve on cast at some point. Um, I might switch to Isaac because I'm so tired of questing right now. And I've got about an hour. That gives me some time to fail at Isaac. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna switch to Isaac. For about an hour. I don't mind it, but I need to care. I don't solo queue ever. Uh, so, like, yeah. Uh, if I had people to dungeon with, even if it's one other person, I'd, I'd do them. But, as it stands, no. So we gotta open up the Isaac. Hopefully it doesn't like start lagging on me. That would suck because I had just fixed this problem. That pro okay, it's not. I was starting to get bored of listening to my playlist too. Like I I need more video game music in my playlist. So yeah, look look at that sexy that sexy file that we're never gonna use on stream again. Uh, let's play... I have Samson. Let's play Azazel. Uh, never gonna use that file again in, unless we like do races like Yumi and Marty. I don't remember what this... oh, it's the fear shot. I think I got that once, like, in my, my Platinum God file. Wait, what was this card? Fool? Okay. I had forgotten I started with that card because I never used the Fool. But Judas requires... Judas requires health and then he requires like... Orbitals. At least... Uh, have you gotten any... Pretty good at the Isaac fight though? Or like... You just sort of... Hope 
You don't get... Ah, uh, I'm good. It's like... I can almost get... Take no damage to the Isaac fight, or... Sometimes I do. Uh, even without orbitals. Which is, uh... At least I used to be able to. I probably can't now. But, yeah. Neither have I. Uh, that I do. Uh, yeah. There's a reason I have the the, uh, the real platinum guide, man. Uh, not only was my luck incredible, uh, the Isaac fight really wasn't that hard. Uh, granted it is still difficult. It's not, it's nowhere near like the difficulty of the, uh, I have a heart. Oh yes, yes, I just got a heart for the mushroom. You just got it. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I mean, once once you learned the Isaac fight, like really learned it, mostly the the crack in the sky sections. Uh, it's pretty easy to uh, get really good Isaac runs. Uh, now the dead baby, I didn't learn very well. Uh. I got my no-hit run uh, for that uh, other achievement in the uh, the 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 land levels. I don't know why I couldn't think of that word, lamb. I should have just flew over this thing. Not mad. Just disappointed. I'm disappointed in myself. Uh. Ah, oh, dude. First time. Yeah. Uh, that was the first time I saw Isaac. Uh. Cause, I found Frag after that. Uh, when. Uh. Andrew showed me Frag uh, while he was playing Super Mario World. It was like the best ever. Yay, a portal into the devil robe. Oh god. But yeah, when I first saw Isaac, like watching Saint, uh first impressions was it looks okay doesn't look like anything special but that's how I look at like a lot of indie games until I've actually played them because I, I said the same thing about Terraria and uh, don't starve uh, and braid which granted I'm not a huge fan of braid but I never finished braid uh, I like the mechanics of Raid, but it's a puzzle game, so that's something I need to do on cast at some point, is just like, do Raid. Uh, so, so many indie games though, I'm like, this looks terrible. And the funny thing is, most of them, uh, Marty introduced me to. Isaac was one of the few he didn't. Uh, eh, damn it. This is a poison touch, I think. If I'm not mistaken, it's like... It's essentially the virus. Where you get hit and you like poison things around you. Ah. 
Oh well, at least they didn't take damage. You know they fixed the Samson unlock with uh, getting it on the uh, the basement, the first two floors? Because that's how I got it on this file. Uh, I managed to get no hit uh, basement and then it gave me Samson. I was like, wow, that, that was a bug and now it's not. Made me happy. Well, he actually played his indie games, like tried them and then played them and uh... Like, the way I found them though, like, he never really, um, recommended any of them. I just sort of looked at games he was buying and playing. And, uh, then I would look, f like, for gameplay footage. Uh. Or, like, in the case of Isaac, Marty had actually shown it to me. And then I was, or, like, linked, now that I think about it, I had seen Isaac, but not gameplay of it. Uh, Isaac, Meat Boy, um... There was one other one I can think of off the top of my head, but I don't remember exactly which one. But there were three games I remember specifically uh, that Marty had linked when they came out and uh, in the big chat. And I looked at them and I was like, these don't look that fun. And then uh, I watched streamers play them. I was like, damn, I have to play these games. Uh, So, whether or not he knows, Marty influenced a lot of my, like, uh, interest in the indie gov. The indie scene. <laughs> uh, which is interesting. And now you know that a lot of them I learned through Marty, so... Uh, through the transitive property, you learned about a lot of your games through Marty. Congratulations! <laughs> it is kind of funny though, because in a way, that's true. I have poison gas farts. Yes. <laughs> It's the second of life. I wish I knew the the lyrics to that, because I would like just bust out and sing it right now if I did. Anarchist cookbook, eh? This run isn't looking too good because my dodging skills have like degraded to a point of fucking Face palming myself. <laughs> it, it's sad when like my dodging skills on Azazel have like failed because I have flying. Ooh. But the run is still looking good because now I got an orbital and an eternal heart what I'd really like is some gold chests so that I can get Tammy's head that would would be lovely will I though? probably not and that's okay but I'd like there to be just, just, just one just one, just one Oh, the Tanuki suit. This this item is broken. Like with a good build, this item is broken. Uh 
Even without a good build, it's broken for the mom's foot fight. All you need is a touch item or an orbital, and you can win mom's foot without taking damage. Just by doing nothing. And that that's kind of upsetting. Although, there was a... Uh... There was a something similar in the original game with but it was a glitch instead of an item. Which is kind of funny. Yay, a bomb chest. Yay, a troll bomb. Best bomb chest ever. What's in here? Greed. You're too greedy, greed. Check yourself. Look at all that blood. Now I remember what the anemic blood is. It's not bad, but it's just like the virus. It's not something you really want to be happening. And you gotta take damage. Uh, the Leviticus? Cause the Leviticus with the Tanuki suit would be pretty cool. Uh, Where I just stand still as a stone. In my fucking tear that I move with my- Oh my god, fuck you! What is this? Master of lock picking. Oh, fuck yes! I actually need to find boxes for that to be useful, but fucking right. At least I think it's boxes. I hope it's not doors. I think it's boxes, though. Stem cells and angel room. Unfortunately, I can't break the angels yet. Not that I would want to this run, because I'd probably die. Because my dodging skills are, are grade A number one. We have an arcade up here. And this room was nothing. Yay! It's funny because really with Azazel, damage is nice, but like I don't really need anything else other than what I got so far in the HP. At least with what I have unlocked so far, because uh, so far on stream I've only killed mom once or twice. So I have to do heart kills. Alright, shell game. Fuck you. We're doing this then. Pretty fly me. Pretty fly me. fly. Now if you ain't giving me a fly, you best be moving on. Oh, that's not the fly I wanted. You win a game. A game. You win a game. Why though? Like with even part of that build, I could win the game. Like just the shielded tears and uh, brimstone, you can win the game. Like easier than pretty much anything else that uh, would be hard, I guess. That's obvious. Good job, you. Damn it. 
Uh, I haven't had a really broken build on this save though. That would be fun. But uh... Shielded Sears is just a broken item. You don't... As long as you have like fast tears, Shielded Tears is stupid. It makes me sad. Or happy. Makes me happy to get it. Sad that it exists. <laughs> Unless we're talking about the lost. Which, uh, yeah, no. You don't want to do it. Do 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 do. Oh look, shell knights. Fuck you. I don't want to fight the floating heads. No. Is that one immune until I kill the other ones? I think it is. I don't remember seeing this ever. Which is interesting. No, I wasn't immune. I I just suck. Good to know. Ah, that's cool. I've seen the white head before, but it like wasn't taking damage even though I was shooting it even in the back. Which was weird. Uh, so, if it was actually immune, that, that I've never seen that. If it wasn't, and I just saw it, then okay. I, I can accept that too. I don't wanna, but I can. You dick. Don't you do it! God damn it. I told you not to do it! God damn it. Yay! Damage! I almost walked into that fire. I, uh, oh, uh, well, thank you. I, I really wanted a purple shot to the back. I didn't want to tell you. But now that you've done it, it really was the only thing I ever wanted. Thank you. You fulfilled all my wishes. I cannot die happy. They can. Uh. God damn it. Good job, you. You did it again. You outsmarted yourself and gave him a key. Oh look, golden key. God. A map! Why did I pick that up? I don't know why I bought that before the fucking floor was done either. Yeah, that, that's what I thought. Dungeon Builder? For Isaac?
That sounds weird. I guess so, but I mean... Other than the ability to put other monsters in different floors and like vary up the room types, I don't see the purpose in it. Like moving Sheol Knights to basement and shit like that. Or to make some really crazy floors, like all boss floors. Where you have to go through like the almighty boss rush of boss rushes in order to beat the the, the game. But I mean... The current random system is random enough to where you should never need something like that, I would think. At least for me. Like, you can find enough variation ups with the uh, random room types, random enemies in the room types, etc. For unless you're gonna spend like the next two years playing just this game, you're probably not going to uh, see everything. And even if you did, like. It's... I don't know. Yeah, and Edmund did release... Uh, saying that like it would have taken like an extra six months or something. An extra several months to release it, so he, he didn't want to push the, the release date back further than it needed to be. So I get that. Uh... I would love it if they'd go back and work on it though for like the expansion. Cause now that the game's out, they have all the time in the world. Uh, nobody's gonna be like upset if the expansion gets pushed back like 3-4 months. Hell, even half a year. Uh, because... of online co-op. Nobody would be angry at that. Uh, yeah. And I like that he's doing that because it, it shows like a community effort which is really fucking badass. Uh, Edmund's always been really one of the best like progressive developers in that sense though even in the indie scene because uh the indie developers get it better than corporations about how they sell their games and what sells their games uh but i guess since his situation was so like life and death uh he's come to appreciate it even more It was like Edmund and Danny B and people like that. Uh, so good at uh, really. Uh, I guess I could see it. Like I don't know why, because I haven't really followed him. Uh. 
I could really see that. Yeah. Uh It's upsetting. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy he feels distant though, because other than like Jack Lafeer, he's one of the biggest like names that shows up uh, on Twitch like all the time. Uh, and in his forums and stuff for like promoting uh, community work for his games and shit without it feeling like copy pasta like here's a contest go I might be fucked because I'm doing this so poorly the, the the corporation community stuff that they call community stuff like here's a contest because we're too busy to actually like get feedback uh, which I understand that take too but it's kind of disappointing uh, we made it I thought I was just gonna stand under her foot for the next 10 seconds and die but I did it What? What is going on? I've never seen this. But it might just be because I've never found one of these in a room like this. That was, uh... I can see that. Uh, cause he struggled with that type of stuff before. And like depression and, uh, like really cynical attitudes aren't something that just sort of go away. Those types of uh, behaviors uh, and uh, psychological tendencies or disorders, even if it's actually depression. Uh, but, uh, so. It still surprises me he's even doing anything Super Meat Boy related. Uh, after the stress of releasing Super Meat Boy. Like that blows my mind. And that's probably what's uh, part of what's bothering him. Uh, definitely not all of it because there's no stress. Uh, involved with Super Meat Forever other than it carries the stigma of what he went through with Super Meat Boy. Uh, but I'm sure that can't be healthy. He's become one of the biggest indie devs too, like Notch. Uh, and that that's good. Because uh, they didn't have that luxury with Super Meat Boy. They had to get a game out. Uh, in their 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 time frame, and it had to be the game. It was essentially his make or break uh, game. That if it didn't go through, he would have to quit developing. Interesting topic. Uh, so 
anything that like would remind him of that time frame has to be just terrible. Uh, and I'd completely understand like the the low like low key and stuff like that. Fuck you, Diglett! I almost called them dildos. Oh god, it's this thing! I'm glad I'm Azazel. And I can just fly over most of this shit. Oh, you dick. That wasn't fair. That fight's so frustrating without flying. Another angel room! The game loves me! Hey look! <laughs> Look what I got! I might as well use that. Boom! It sucks I already cleared the whole floor. Ooh. Nah. Uh. Yeah, that, that boss can be a bitch and a half. It, it's definitely a pain in the asshole if you don't have flying or something to get you off the ground. Because, yeah. That's like the worst part of that fight. Uh, is the, uh, the spikes. And... Once you remove those from the equation, it's still a frustrating fight. But it's much, much less frustrating when it's just bullet dodging. Whew. Ooh! Do like! Alright man, uh, it was fun talking to you while you were in here for, uh, essentially my last hour. Uh, but yeah. Uh, hopefully you sleep well. Good night. Do 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 do. Ah! Uh, goodbye, heart. I'll miss you. You are. Oh, <laughs> it's so bad! Save me. Save me, please! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh my god, that's so nice. Oh god, that almost hit me. <sighs> the game's just giving me health. Just, just health. Health everywhere. No, 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 you don't have enough red on your screen. You need more bread!
<laughs> I'm gonna be really upset when I die to the heart. I'm gonna be so upset when I die to the heart. With, what, nine hearts now? Well, there's no item room, so... Let's, let's get it over with. Oh my god, I, I took so much damage for no reason. Let us mourn this, this glorious run, where it was lost, and now it will never be found again. But let us never forget the life it had, the life it could have had, if someone hadn't done fucked it up. Goodbye, run. I'll never forget you. I'll always be here. In my heart. And with that said... I am really upset that that ended that way. Uh, that was... Terrifying. We can't fit another run in. Uh, before the end of the cast, and while I, I feel good about the end of the show, I am going to end it really early because of how shitty this whole cast has been, except for this last hour. Uh, and I, I really apologize for that. It, it's never going to happen again. Never going to happen again. So, let's end on a positive note. Even though we lost, it, it's still a positive note because I feel good about that last hour. It doesn't make up for the four before it. Uh, well, three and a half-ish. Because I, I thought the first hour wasn't terrible, but it could have been better. It's, it's hard with, uh, it wasn't my best work, but I mean, I was expecting a Skype call today, and that's never happening again. Uh, so, uh, I'll be back tomorrow, uh, with something appropriate, uh, cause... Probably Final Fantasy VIII. Uh, we started since busting up, but I mean... That's more of a game to, to fill in time with. And that's probably go what we're going to be using as our fill-in until we beat it. Um, which won't be a popular choice, but you know. Guilty pleasures. I like it. That should be enough. So. Uh... 
But tomorrow, like 50% sure it'll be Final Fantasy VIII. It really depends on my mood, because I'm kind of feeling uh, some some rage-inducing like Dark Souls, or uh, I really want to play Saints Row 4, but I gotta wait until this weekend. Uh, unless uh, said co-op partner decides to start Terra instead, which. I'll be fine if she does that too. Uh, it's up to her. Anyway, uh, so yeah, I'll be back tomorrow at eight o'clock central until about two. Today is it, I am ending early, but yeah, uh, I'll be here. Hopefully, you will be too. See ya.